Getting visitors to your site. 1. Introduction to SEO. Hi, welcome to the Cephalorama Introduction to SEO. My name is Robert, and in this lesson I'll be giving you a general introduction to what is a very large and important topic in affiliate marketing. Search Engine Optimization, or SEO for short. We'll cover SEO in greater detail in later Affilorama lessons. For now, we'll just cover the basics. What search engine optimization is, why it's important, and what sort of things does it involve for the average affiliate marketer. When you search for something in a search engine, you typically end up with two sets of results. One are the paid listings which appear down the right-hand side of the page, and occasionally at the top of the page. The rest of the results on the page are the natural or organic search listings. Appearing in this list doesn't cost the website anything. These are the results that the search engine considers to be the most relevant for the search term. For a lot of affiliates, having their site listed in these free results is a cornerstone of their business, since it results in a lot of free traffic to their site. But if your website doesn't appear in the first few pages of search results, you're unlikely to get a lot of people clicking through to your site. In fact, very few web searchers will bother looking past three of the search results, and most people won't even make it past page one. The term search engine optimization, or SEO for short, refers to the things you can do for your website to help it appear closer to the top of the search engine rankings for your important keywords. The closer to the top you are, the more traffic you will get. The more traffic you get, the more money you make. That's an equation that makes a lot of sense to affiliates. The important thing to note about the natural search engine listings, as opposed to the paid search engine listings, is that there is no way you can artificially raise yourself up the rankings. Unlike paid listings where you might bump yourself up by paying more, with the natural search engine results, you're completely at the mercy of the search engine algorithms. You spend your time effectively trying to convince the search engine that your site is the most relevant site on the Internet for a particular keyword. And the things you do to convince the search engines are collectively called search engine optimization. So let's have that again. Free listings that are compiled by the search engines, displaying what they consider to be the most relevant results for a particular search term. You can't choose where or how your site appears, but there are things you can do to increase your relevance. The search engines are your most important source of traffic. Traffic that comes from the natural search engine listings is also free traffic. You need to be in the first three pages of the SERPs, search engine results pages, to receive any significant traffic from the search engines. Things you can do to help your search engine rankings tend to fall into two categories. On-page factors are things that you can do to your website to increase your perceived relevance. These include things like using your keywords on your pages, using headers correctly, linking your pages together correctly, etc. Off-page factors are things that help your site look more relevant but aren't actually things on your website. These include things like getting your links to your site from other websites, making sure those websites are popular and relevant to your topic, having links to your site use certain text in the links, etc. There are good points and bad points to using search engine optimization as your primary method of getting traffic to your website. The good points are that, obviously, the traffic you get through appearing in the natural search results is free traffic. That's the biggest point. Because your traffic is free, it's also less of a risk than if you were paying for traffic. You're not under such pressure to start turning a profit because you're not losing any money. Lastly, SEO is democratic. Your ability to rank well in the search engines isn't directly related to how fat your wallet is, unlike the paid search listings. As for the cons, the biggest one with SEO is that it takes a long time and effort before you start seeing results. It might take six months of solid effort before your site approaches a first page listing in Google. Of course, it might take less time than this also. It all comes down to your market and how hard you work. If you're looking for a quick buck, 
then you're not going to like search engine optimization. So in this lesson we've learned what SEO is, why it's important, and what some of its good and bad points are. In later lessons, you'll see just how to go about SEOing your site, and you'll begin to see why it's such a contentious topic in affiliate marketing.